you do a sunny side of egg without flipping it because every time they flip it the yolk comes like pouring out of it they want the yolk still in the egg so I'm gonna show you what I do get your egg get your salt pepper whatever you want on it and you're just gonna sling the oil over the egg and this is not on high but it is on a high like a medium high now when it's done enough for you take it out if you want it really runny just sling a little bit of oil over the top of it I like mine cooked a little more like this and then you're done that's a sunny side up egg now in the restaurants their yolk is completely showing on top and it's orange because they have a griddle and a griddle doesn't use grease a griddle it's just like a flat metal or like a flat surface. There's no grease involved, no, you know, canola oil, nothing like that involved at all. Now, I don't have my griddle out, and most people don't have a griddle. Most people have a frying pan with oil in it. So that's why I did it this way. Now, there's the other egg. You can see there's yolk all in that egg. It looks completely cooked from the outside, but you can see there's your runny yolk. Now, the one that I just did, you can see. Now I'm going to bust it open on a plate here and show you that yes, there is runny yolk in there. Because somebody else was saying no uh, on the other one I did. They were like, no, you cooked it entirely. There was no yolk left in it and it wasn't runny and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yes, it is. So I'm going to show you in this one that yes, you sling the grease. That's how, we, how, that's how my grandparents used to do it. Because like I said, when some people flip their egg, it like makes the yolk bust out everywhere. And we don't want that. We want our yolk to be intact. So when we put the grits or the rice or, what, or you put it in a sandwich, whatever you're doing with it, you want that yolk to pour out when you take a bite. Now with my sunny side up eggs, I normally put grits on them. So when I chop up the egg within the grits, this yolk comes pouring out. So for everyone on the other video who messaged me on Twitter and was like, the yolk was cooked. It was not runny. Let me show you. Now watch. See that? That is a clean yolk, a runny yolk. That is a runny egg. This is what I'm telling you. All you have to do is drop your egg in a little bit of hot oil and just take your oil and sling it over your egg like so. Don't fill up the pan with a lot of oil. Put enough oil to cover the bottom of the pan. Turn it up. Don't put it on scalding hot now. Just like medium high. You know, drop a little something in it, make sure it's sizzling. And then when you put your egg in it, just like I just did, you just start slinging your oil over the top of it like so. That's all you're doing. And you're just moving it around like that. And then when you notice the top is covered and white like that, you just take it out unless you want it more done. Now, if you don't want it more done, you take it out like I did. But there's your runny yolk. Now, all you needed was your grits or your rice or you know to make a sandwich bologna egg and cheese sandwich and the yolk would run out or you know watch my other video where i cook fried eggs completely and there's the yolk is cooked completely and that's what a completely cooked yolk looks like on a fried egg yes this is not as pretty as a restaurant because i'm not using a griddle this is your frying pan old school type of way here this, this isn't the fancy restaurant type of way this is what we call dirty eggs but that's a good egg. I'm gonna have it with some grits. I hope you enjoy. If you have any more questions or tips of your own or anything you like to do, hey, let me know. I mean, we like maters and rice, maters and grits. We actually put tomatoes, um, rice, and eggs like this together and it is delicious. You can get you a can of corned beef hash and cook it up in a pan like that. Mix it up with these eggs and it's delicious too. Thanks for watching.